Caroline! Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you know, my name is Tere, and today I'm gonna to be reacting to Pang. After 10,000 million years, finally, we are here. By the way, I wanted to put a disclaimer that I'll be doing Battle of the Recommendations from here on in. I have so many recommendations to get to, so I'm gonna leave it up to you guys what you guys should be seeing for now on. But, this Battle of Recommendations, Pang One, so we about to get in this album. Track one, The Gate. Ooh, it sounds mystical. <laughs> the Gate. on the lyrics on this one because I have no idea what the heck she said. Uh, I wasn't really blown away by that track as an opener, but I definitely feel like probably the more I actually listen to this album, I'll get it, but it did not blow me away as I thought it was going to. She stands at a gate and she is waiting to see somebody? Right? I'm <laughs> Okay, um, I'm so lost already, but I am lost. Help. Oh, there is a look in my eyes. <laughs> Sorry, I'll play the song. So most of you are probably upset because I'm not reacting as much as I should be. Um, I'm just gonna say I had no idea who this person was. So this is a legit first reaction to Caroline. <laughs> um, I'm still getting used to the sound. Um, I don't know if I like it or not. I'm in between right now. I'm like I that chorus is maybe it's gonna get like stuck in my head, but like I'm not thoroughly impressed. I don't know why um the chorus is great I can groove to it I just don't I think there needs to be more production wise with that song to make it more pangy it's a pangy word because <laughs> I'm 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 feeling pang but I'm not sure if it's a pang that I deserve because she's saying like I feel pang and I don't feel the pang. Drinking tang but not having the taste. <laughs> Ooh, that was beautiful. That, ah, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. So that was paying. Um, again, maybe it has to grow on me a little bit more. But that chorus is great. I just wish there was more done with the chorus to actually feel that pain. It wasn't my favorite track. I don't know. Something's not connecting right now. But I um, maybe it will grow on me. But I'm. It's not one of my favorite songs. Um, yeah. Whoa, <laughs> I like that. Whoa, feeling know you from long ago. The bottle is empty now. What is this? The 
that boom, 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 like it. Sorry for screaming, but I'm afraid. I'm very confused on what's going on. Like, I feel like there's so much going on in the production. It's just not letting me. And then, like, there's certain parts where she is off the beat. Off of it. I'm not connecting. What is this? Like, what is happening? It's no big deal. This new kind of normal. There were some beats in that that I'm, 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 were really good. I'm not a fan, and I don't know why I'm not a fan, but I, I feel like this is, isn't the, the album for me. Um, this was unexpected. Uh, it's just not hitting me right. I don't know why. I definitely feel like there's really good material there. There was definitely some imagery with New Normal that was like brought me there but like I didn't connect with the song at all like I didn't connect with the the, the music I didn't I don't know okay okay I actually might like this one I don't know why it's I don't know why but I, I like the the intro on this. When I get less and you get less than me. Uh. Oh, 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 ah. I used to feel this good to be Oh. What is happening? <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm, not, I'm so perplexed by this album. This has never happened to me. Ah! <laughs> like I can't. <laughs> What's happening? What? I don't know. When you're already down, I can get Ooh, it. how far can you fall when you're already down? Ooh. I told you love the song <laughs> I don't know what happened <laughs> I love this song I, I love the meaning of the song sometimes you just gotta let Jesus take the royal just let what happens happens I give up whatever happens happens love it love the the production of the track I finally got to hear I think a little bit more of her vocals a little more and even the production aided there was like one time in the song where she was like you know what I'm gonna and literally there was like a beat in there instead of like hey I'm gonna swear or say something provocative um, I love that track oh <sighs> my first heart <laughs>
Ooh, that production, it gave me goosebumps. Like, I felt like she was wrapping me up and was like, hey, I'm gonna hit you, hit you where it hurts. And I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm not ready, but okay. <laughs> song love that song hit me where it hurts and it, even like even uh words even when in the background you can hear the ah, like it, it, it sounded like somebody was getting hit and they, that was their sound the, ah, or something like that oh man okay i understand now the sound that's coming i don't know about the first three tracks but uh, four and five getting hard. A a <laughs> Falling for a boy that doesn't play guitar. Ah, I love it. I love the lyrics. Ah. me of Alanis Morissette a little bit like just because she can hit those loud um, octaves in her voice and it it does sound like like maybe her voice is breaking and sometimes I don't understand what she's saying but it sounds lovely <laughs> oh but the look I can't even do it look at me now when she did that Gorgeous. Ooh, there is so much material in this song of like her friends are telling her she's looking skinnier and like it sounds like depression uh maybe a trauma happened or something like that and the result and uh it's affecting her physically and she's just like look at me now like i can see her standing in front of a mirror and like having herself not look like look like a frail fragile version of herself ah ah I can't run anymore. I'm gonna face the storm. I'm gonna stay right here and face it. Ah! Beautiful song. Beautiful, beautiful song. That one's getting hard. Ah. I felt like she did that right by my ear. She was like, Let me try this. Wait, is this a vocalizer? Let me know down in the comment section. Can she actually hit these notes? Let me let a girl know because like I think she can, but like I'm not sure at this point. Like ah. Um, I love the song. I'm gonna put it at heart. Uh, her vocals, excellent. The way that song was conducted, excellent. And uh, Insomnia fit so well because even in the last track, she was talking about how she's not sleeping all that much. And how it just kind of went on and on and on though. It was kind of like your brain keeps going and going and going and going, especially for me, that's my insomnia. That's when I can't sleep. I have anxiety about the next day, so my brain keeps going and going and going and going, and I need to get to sleep, and I just can't. So, definitely getting this a heart. It's very interesting how 
some of the songs, her vocal techniques are to the forefront and then the production is to the forefront in some songs. Before it's so long, just that make it crazy. Would you imagine if she made a song with Banks? Oh my god, oh my god. like that song uh just the way she sings it i feel like she would be the only one who could sing it to make it this song like uh, i just her vocal capabilities are amazing and even the production aided with her with her actual voice and i love that and i love the line of the only thing that's really separating us is the ocean of tea like oh my god Brack nine, hey big eyes. <laughs> Are you talking to me? kind of what we had in the beginning of like I know she's the lyrics are amazing but something in the production isn't right to make me draw myself into this album I don't know if it's just because I've never heard of Caroline I'm I'm, I'm just not sure but a lot of people are gonna be like well you didn't listen to the rest of the track I did um I just I, I and it literally is me sitting there for like the rest of the song. So, I don't know, something just doesn't hit right with me. And that's okay. I think a lot of people are going to take offense to me not reacting the way I want they wanted to with this album. That's not a problem to me. Because this isn't something new. This is something I haven't heard before. And also, this is not normally what I listen to at all. Like... The closest thing I think I've, I've listened to is maybe old, like, Sia. Maybe, like, Florence and Machine-ish. Like, I... I don't know. There's just so much stuff going on, and I feel like I'm not picking it up at all. And, like, it's just jarring to me. It's just not hitting me right. Yeah. So... I'm not going to put a heart for that one. be really powerful right now that part it's just not I'm not there I'm not I I think this is the first album on this channel that I've not been completely blown away and it's like the first recommendation I think like I'm not really keen on um I definitely think they're in this song there's production wise and a lot of people might like it but I don't I don't know her voice her voice is amazing I'm not going to deny that but right now sitting in front of a camera I definitely feel like this is an album for me to like actually listen to with my headphones um by myself uh this is not a like reaction face 
uh, um, but I, I, you guys get that with the way she sings her songs, yes. But like, this is not something I would pick up and be like, this is the greatest thing on earth. Um, I've, I, I feel like I've heard better. Um, let me just. <laughs> love her vocals in this song so that's the only reason why I'm giving it a heart but I did not I definitely like the thinking feeling that the song gave but it's not I think there just came a certain part in the album where I'm just like okay I've heard her vocal techniques I'm not I don't know I don't know I don't know kind of making me wonder why but like maybe it's because of the album's also a little like one year old like I've heard so much now of music now that I compare and I'm like eh. but I'm not sure I'm not sure okay you have made it this far in the video you may have clicked off already but I just wanted to say that I actually stopped the video and I've listened to what we just got done three times before continuing this album. Um, I just wanted to say real fast that all because I don't have the reaction that I normally do with an album doesn't mean it's a bad album. It just means I'm not getting it on first reaction. Um, and I've literally after I got done filming this I was like oh my YouTube career is over I need to go do something else with my life goodbye YouTube I almost deleted my entire channel <laughs> like I'm not even kidding <laughs> um it was just because I wasn't experiencing what you guys experienced and I didn't want to lose subscribers and everything like that and I was very much in my head but let me tell you something if you are a reactor on YouTube you're gonna have different opinions than everybody else on YouTube or people who watch you and that is okay the majority of the songs I tried to interpret and everything like that I'm not gonna get it on first reaction I'm not going to it just is what it is um, a lot of you are probably gonna write down in the comment section you didn't get understand this song and you got it wrong the interpretation and everything like that that's what a first reaction is I'm gonna get things wrong I don't know this person you don't know the singer you don't know what their explanation for the song is on first react on first listen you interpret it and then you find out so um, I just wanted to express that and please be kind in the comment section. Please be understanding and if you guys do have more information, if I don't say it in this video about a song, please be respectful of that. Not everybody who listens to a new artist is going to have the same uh, devotion, the same interpretation, the same thing as the artist or as maybe you do as being a super fan. That is okay. We all start at point A to get to point B. You know what I'm saying? So just be respectful. Just keep that in mind. Um, and I'm going to continue the album. Okay? All right. I wonder, do I love you too much? Then I tell myself, Caroline, shut, shut up. up. I already listened to this song on my own just because it was one of my previous songs on the last when I last recorded that I ended on so I already kind of got a feel of this I tell myself that all the time to shut up just shut up a good thing is happening shut your mouth and just let it happen but no I just gotta say something oh you gotta say something <laughs> Another thing I noticed while going back and listening, there's a lot of background tones that she does as well. And I don't know if anybody caught that in uh, some of the other tracks, but she does a lot of background. And like, 
it's her voice is above and then she's like in the background and it's delicious <laughs> what she is she is good at those runs mm. reacted to this album I did not understand when she goes up into those registers like they seemed very very harsh coming down and it wasn't like a Florence of the Machine or like a rain weaver where it's in the song and it's just like it, it seems very very harsh coming down and I I didn't know how to interpret that like is it bad singing is it just her but it's her it's just the way she sings and that is something i had to get used to on first reaction i was like huh like it, it's just a feel and it's different and if you're not used to that because i'm not used to it most songs i listen to they stay on key they have like a whole rhyme scheme that they stick to and things like that it is not like this at all so it was definitely a an experience in and of itself. I love her lyricism, but I think one thing that makes it Caroline is her, she understands her voice to make the lyrics work. Because if it was anybody else singing these lyrics, they would be like, how, how do? Because it's not a regular rhyme scheme. Can't run, line, shut up. Like, that's the only part of the song that is like a normal part of the song. Got it. But when she goes up into those registers, only she can do that. And that was something I had to get used to. Now I'm used to it. Got it. Got it. Hard at this song. Mm. And also I like in the song that she's talking about how she is in taking love in a completely serious way when it might not be that serious. Story of my life. <laughs> Already grooving to it, let's go. Another thing is also I have to have the lyrics in front of me like there's no way that I'm going to interpret what she's saying and actually take it and understand what she's saying I'm and as a small youtuber I'm still learning as I go for these reaction videos so it's okay too uh, it was a song written for me I feel like it was written for me ah Ooh. that's something different we haven't heard her voice like kind of synthesized here that was <laughs> that was that song um i definitely like the dance groove to it i wish i wish it was actually a little further towards the beginning of the album i feel like i i would have actually enjoyed it a little more um if i had this um sound um and i love the meaning of the song so like she's like you're so hot for hurting my feelings because he's like taking pictures of himself and yeah he's doing everything without me. and really you're just so bitter that you're like wow 
<laughs> story of my life. I definitely feel like that was a reference to something. Like in the house of judgment, was that a church? Was that um, her own home? I don't know, but uh, she's totally right. When you leave a house of judgment, it slams quick on you. And that is very sad because all people do is they are looking for belonging and loving and, and being included in something. And especially with your own home or with a house like a church that's supposed to be so welcoming, they can be the most judgmental and I, it triggered. Ooh, I like how the even the background is becoming louder and louder and louder, like your thoughts. You ever just have like a little thought and it just gets louder and louder? Me. Me. I understand that this probably has a lot of symbolism to her, um, but I don't like this part. <laughs> um, I did the first time just because I liked the change up in the song that like one door closes, another door opens, but the door to another door to another door to another. Over it. Over it. No. And especially because this song is five minutes and 22 seconds, this could be a little repetitive. I like that rendition of the door to another door to another door, just because it was a different way of, she, it, you could hear it in the production that it was actually kind of like leading you down some stairs, had some depth to it. way she sings the songs but sometimes when she gets up into those registers I'm like it's just all over the place it doesn't make me feel I don't know it, it, I know it's supposed to emote some emotion in me it's just not hitting I don't feel the pang ah, it's okay um I'm not gonna hurt this one because it was five minutes and 23 seconds and I I felt that length I felt it um, it's not my favorite, um, and that's okay. Erased yourself from memory. See, I like when she does that. It erased yourself from memory. Like, she has some runs in there where I feel it. When she goes up into those registers and, and goes up and down and down and sharply, no. I do like how she has the t sound with the microphone. It sounds like she's uh, at, at the end of when she is singing it and it's clipped a little bit. I do like that. Um, again, I'm out of the song. Don't know. I'm a parachute. I'm just somewhere else. I don't know. From the shore that where I can swim and When she gets up into those registers i kind of hear miley cyrus like hold on let me see if i can go back see that is beautiful that is beautiful uh, i wait mean, when she hits notes that are beautiful and then she has the ones that are like ah, and then like ooh, like i it, bo it bothers me. I don't know why. It's just a thing. I feel like that ending could have been stronger, but what she delivered was a great ending. Part of it. Parachute. It's being literally... 
I feel like it's this entire album. It's the emotions. It's the, I could be somewhere else. Maybe I should be somewhere else. Maybe I shouldn't be somewhere else. I don't know. Um, okay. We have now reached the end of this album. So, what were my favorite tracks? You say. Um, I'm gonna say Hit Me Where It Hurts, I Give Up, Look At Me Now, Look At Me Now, that, the vocals and Look At Me Now. Yes. Um, Insomnia, Ocean of, Ocean of Tears. <laughs> um, Go At The Dream, when she goes, Go At The Dream. Um, Caroline, shut up. So hot you're hurting my feelings and parachute. So five songs I did not like. I think that's okay. Um, let's talk about this. Uh on first in initial listening. Um, just because I didn't hear what you guys heard. Um, her voice is what makes me excited to listen to her it does but the pang girl, i did not feel it i did not feel it i feel like with such a voice that she has she could have really made pang to the point where you you could feel it it's someone who is yearning for you yeah hungry for you and you go pang I was, <laughs> even re-listening to that, I was like, it could have been so much, it, it, it's because she has so much vocal potential. Vocal potential, and you gave me pink. I got it in um, Look At Me Now, Ocean of Tears, I got it. Um, but it definitely took me a couple times to listen to it back. This is not an album that I would sit down, listen to, first reaction, understand every single particle of every single lyric that she is saying. It's not, it, no, no. A lot of people are probably gonna put it down in the comment section. I want you guys to put down your interpretation of the, what is your interpretations of the song? Did you have the exact same feeling I did? Because I was confused because Maybe you guys do know right off the bat what she is talking about. Um, but in a literal sense, sometimes I take lyrics literally. These are the things I probably should ask before I do reactions. But I like first reactions because this is a new listener. Because most people who listen to a new artist are going to have the exact same thing. What is this artist going to sound like? What are the lyrics telling me? Can I interpret it? Is it something that resonates in my life? And uh, is it good? And honestly, I had to take a couple listens to actually get that she is good. Her vocals, I she is a vocalist. I was just really confused on the rhyme scheme and then her voice is the only thing that can actually like move it because I feel like if somebody else tried to like cover it or something like that it just wouldn't sound the same it wouldn't have her technique on there so I it's not my favorite album I'm, I'm gonna be frank it's not my favorite but I do have an appreciation for it but it's for me to listen to by myself <laughs> because that's when I actually started to take an appreciation because again I feel like so many people hyped up this album that I thought oh it's gonna blow my socks off like Venus Awayama and this is a completely different feel completely different um, and that's okay I just I wanted to make sure that I did this album right. I wanted to make sure I edited it right and that I actually said what I meant. This album is very good, but this album is for you to digest by yourself. I'm gonna say this is a very well-produced album. Go listen to the album. 
um come up with your own interpretations let a girl know down below what are your interpretations let a girl know down below what's the singer's interpretation because you guys know better than me let me know did you agree with me did you not agree with me um let a girl know because i kind of want your feedback of what you heard always so there's a link down below so you can go check out our music um i will see you guys in the next video like and subscribe to the channel i create new videos every week i will see you guys in the next one bye or star, falling for